much, but I want to start the video. Ooh, good morning, guys. The three of us are just out for our morning bathroom runs. We got the fog coming in over the mountains. The sun has not come up yet, but I'm betting that it is. Look how beautiful that is. All right, we're gonna finish the picnic table today. Let's get to work. This is one of those times where Johnny Cat likes to pose and look all pretty for the camera. What do you think you got, Johnny Cat? Huh? You think you got a modeling career? What do you think, buddy? Just don't let me touch the fence. You're just so cute. You're just so cute, Johnny Cat. Don't touch me, because with you touching the ground and you touch the fence, that could be catastrophic for you. Well, now it's a good morning. Now the sun's coming up. The day is officially going to start. I'm making my tea. Get my morning on, folks. It's a beautiful cloudy morning here in Woodward, Pennsylvania. Ooh. Look at that. It's beautiful. You want me to sing a song? No, I'm not going to do that. Just let you watch the sunrise. Yep, it's a strong one today. The sun's almost out. That doesn't work. All right, that's it. Good morning, everybody. What's up, Dennis Allen here? Looks a little shaky to camera today. So what's going on? I am still doing burning the uh, Shoshiban wood, but I just came up here to the penthouse. I'm calling this the penthouse area. That's uh, upstairs. Oh, let's, let me give you a ride. Uh, I'm trying to use gravity as much as I can. Yeah, once I get... Oh, man. Maybe I'll need some electricity. Let's see. Uh, it's the early one to start the video. I thought it was just going to start rolling. Oh. Come on, man. See, I get my ways. So that's the penthouse. There's a butterfly. That's the upstairs. Down like oh we'll see it in a second. Whew. There's the mess. There's Jen the generator. I think we might need her today. So down there where the outhouse and the hay is, I guess it's just ground level. That's the living arrangement. Good lord. And then this is going downstairs into the basement. It's a long, scary ride into the basement. And there's the basement shop. So, stop. this is what we're doing today. We're doing, I got the rest of the things burnt. 
I've been working past you guys are sleeping. Or if that actually doesn't make sense. But I sanded some already. They look pretty cool. To the minivan. Remember everybody, Leanna. What's her website? LeannaDeRay.com. Buy a sticker. She's uh, trying to put her way through college. I'm discouraging her from getting any loans. I may loan her money, but I don't want her to get any conventional loans. So, let's do some sanding and show you how it's done. I am putting a mask on. I don't know why. Can you even see me? Putting the mask on. This is a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's good for you. It's probably... I mean, I'm not going to lose any benefit from covering my my face, but... So, please don't shake too much, camera. So what are we doing here? Let me help the camera. See, that could use a little more toasty taste. Okay. So you just want to get all the, the cruddy duds off. Shushy bun, people. That's what it's called. I think. This name may not be the right way to do it, remember? This is my first time attempting. To even build a picnic table. I never built a picnic table before. Whew. Johnny Cat was hanging out up there before. Walking up there. Probably not staying out of trouble. I should have brought a little brush. You see the difference? It's good, right? Eh? I'm going with the rock of the of the wobble. It's called walking and wobbling. <laughs> A lot of work. Again, like in most of my videos, I complain that shooting with one hand is more work, especially now. Because normally I'd be switching hands. But I guess I like complaining. Haha! -ha! It's the truth. I like to complain, I like to do things about it too. You know? Look at that. This wood. Give it a fair shot here. Or just like that. Before, after. How do you like that, huh? That could be like an icing thing. Shushiban Karate! Alright, I'm gonna stick the GoPro up there. It's my little scrap wood pile. My staircase. It's embarrassing. But this is the loft area of the basement. I've got a pretty big basement. I'm gonna stick the camera right here. Ooh. 
Whew. All right, so I borrowed the pickup. I put the wood in the back of the pickup. This is the before, what the wood looks like. And let me show you what it looks like after. Can you get up there? Four. Reminds me of my uh, furniture growing up. I had that, uh, actually, it wasn't even me, it was the neighbors. We had that, had that 70s furniture. <laughs> Future Dennis put a clip of what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna drop this off in the uh, in its final resting place, unload it, and build it out there. Here we are, at Kip, Hip Camp site number five. It's number five. For some reason, the hip camp has different site locations. I don't get it, but whatever. The first people that reserved it stayed here and they their reservation said number five. So this is number five, people. That's right. You heard it here first. And what do you think about the name City Boy Homestead? I think I'm keeping it. The City Boy Homestead seems like a, a hell of a good name. What do you think? I kind of like it. I am a City Boy. This is my homestead, so I'm obviously going to be doing it. City Boy style, you know what I'm saying? So why not call it? Gonna have things like graffiti all over the place, those shipping containers, man. They, they gotta get tagged up. The only reason why I love shipping containers so much is because they always have graffiti on them. Mine don't have graffiti. So my guy's a little graffiti on them, but not in some of that for reals. Not some of that for reals graffiti, you know what I'm saying? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? No one around. So yeah, you can camp here. You can camp here this week and this table. I'm building this table for I think five people and two dogs that are coming this weekend. The first hip campers, if you're watching this guy, sorry you didn't have the table. I owe you a table next time. Come on back. Razzmatazz, folks. Razzmatazz. That's, that's how it goes. So, now, I'm going to let it dry a little bit, return the truck. I still have some 2x4s that I have to do everything to, to torching cleaning and the cutting <sighs> it's more work than I thought what time is it oh it's only that time so not too bad all right let me get going the two by fours I think I could just throw um, they're just little pieces so I think I could just throw them on a four-wheeler so we're ready to return the truck full times full 
I don't know what that means. It's actually two by two. Those two wheels turn and those two wheel turns. You only got four. You only got no 16. I don't get it. Chevrolet. My first car was a Chevy Camaro, 1979. Woo, what a good, what a good lunch. I had sardines and the, the kimchi that I made. Uh, some sweet peppers, some actually some hot peppers that had some Amish or Amish made and just some fresh onions that were growing right over that hump. So now I got my two by fours. I got the generator. I picked up the two by fours from over there. I've been coasting down. Let's see if I could coast all the way down. Oh yeah. The back's kind of hectic, but it's working. Danger is my middle name, folks. It's Dennis Danger Allen. Oh boy. Squeaking the tires. scary <laughs> all right so now I'm gonna show you how to build a pick a nick a table well that thing's twisted that doesn't like uh, I guess I have the straps twisted a little bit and that was a little ride a little rugged ride for you there folks um, I guess I should torch the uh, two by fours too so let me get this and get all the pieces cut and then we'll just zip zip tie this all together and duct tape. All right, here we are at the on-site location. We have little, kind of little baby praying mantis right there. Hello, little baby. How you doing? You enjoying the wood? You like the wood because it's natural, right? There's no chemicals or anything on it. Yeah. To go, go away, because I got work to do here. You hear? Come on. Mm. All right, whatever. I'll be careful with her. So I'm gonna set up these things, put the table, the tabletop upside down on top, and find the best board. So I'm doing that. I came up. It's a little after lunchtime. Got all the things. I had to come up here. Forgot a couple of things. Um, I am checking on my my penthouse office. I got my uh, my high speed internet going there. Shade cloth there. Don't touch that wire, people. And I got my mobile office here. You can see it, but the spider webs have been crawling all over it. And oh, it's done. All right. Now it's just processing. So that's good. I could close this out. So it took all morning. Do you want to leave? Let me just make sure processing. Yeah, okay, I can leave. All right. So that's that. I could close this out. And uh, I could get back to work. Ooh all right. So I've got the table laid out here. I got the two by fours cut and burnt. I didn't really uh, rub them off, maybe I should. Sorry if anyone's sitting there. Actually, I got the brush, I'll, I'll brush it off real quick. But all I'm doing is uh, taking these deck screws, so I think they're three inches. It's going into a two by four, plus a real two by something. See that? That went pretty deep. But I got plenty of room below, so. So I'm gonna put two more of these in and then some legs. 
Stay tuned. It's getting exciting. All right, so this is what I got so far. I, uh, this cross brace right here is in the middle. This is 20 inches. Is that 20 inches? I wrote it down. I don't know. I'll put all the, the numbers. Yeah, it's 20 inches. Um, four inches from there is where I started the legs from each of the boards. Um, now the center thing, that's where the lag bolts are going to go. I'm just going to, since I'm by myself, I'm going to just put it up there and uh, put one screw in each, then drill holes for the lag bolts, put the lag bolts in. Um, I forgot to glue some of the foundations. Um, actually, everything I forgot to glue. I forgot to glue these and this. Um, I don't think I'm taking it apart. I think we're just going to leave it. They didn't have old school. They didn't have glue. Uh, maybe the rest of it I'll put glue, but just those are maybe some weak points, but it should be easy to fix if I ever have to. So that's it. Alrighty then, a little sloppy, but whatever, it's just, you want to see that. So this is pretty much the table. I got to flip it upside down, attach the, the butt holders. I hope there's enough room for the butt holders. Looks like there should be. I uh, measured out these cross sections here. One over there, it's pretty tight, tight like a tiger. Um, I might put some extra brackets there or something one day. Maybe not today. I'm gonna just maybe I'll do that right now. But I'm gonna flip it over, put the seats on, and enjoy my brand new Soshiban picnic table. Thank you very much. Let this be entertainment, entertaining. Trying to get this down here by myself. But I'll do it. towards you people so watch out I hope these seats are big enough. They're really stinky, they aren't. Whew! Wow. That's pretty nice. So far so good picnic table if you ask me. The legs look pretty straight. I don't know where the seats are going to go. Oh boy. Remember folks, this is a what not to do channel. Yep, that's not good. There's only like three inches. I don't think that's going to be good enough. Oh, 
You know, this old house didn't really say much. I mean, let's see, what's underneath there? I guess I could just grab on a little bit of the edge there. I mean, I don't know. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice tape. What do you think about that, huh? So this is me making a table. I left the uh, uneven notches on top. I thought they'd give it some character. The underside is actually pretty darn flat. I don't like flat too much. You can see it. See like these notches? I could have made it straight, but this way you could drop your coins in there and I could pick them up at a later date. So you gotta scrape up some of that glue be easy to do I didn't think you'd be able to see it but you can so I gotta hide it so I mean if I notch out a little bit of here and slide it in I could get a little a little extra in there but see but there's definitely enough room for someone to sit at the side here. Made sure of that. I hope the inside's, the other side's just the same. Yeah, same thing. Got a couple inches. Well, but at least I'm, I was even. <laughs> so, shouldn't be a problem. I think I'm just gonna notch out some of that. Uh, screw it in there. And it, that should be it. So, there's my table, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys want to do some camping, come on out. This is my campsite right here. Put a couple tents up over there, over there. Got a fire pit, got two fire pits actually. Now I got a picnic table there. You got one of the nicest views in Penns Valley. Right here. See the cows way in the distance. I live up there. The quarry is right there. So, these are my videos. Hoping you're liking them. Hope you learned something. Um, I guess I'll put all the dimensions below. I got some of these from this old house and people that commented in the remarks on this old house's YouTube video. So, whatever. Um, that's pretty much it. Please like the video below. Give it a thumbs up. Please tell your friends, forward them, say, hey, don't you like uh, picnic tables or don't you like Japanese wood treatments or don't you like crazy guys with beards? That's me, all in one, folks. All right, guys, that's all I got to say. This video is over. A couple screws, a couple cleanups. Put all that stuff away. And uh, that was my day. To wrap it up, I mean, I saved... You know, you, there's an Amish guy that builds uh, picnic tables out of regular wood. He charges $250. Home Depot, I think you get them for $200 and assemble them yourself. This was fairly cheaper. I think the wood was 80 and it took me about a day. So I think this is a much nicer table than any kind of Home Depot jibber jabber or some uh, other stuff. I'm gonna put them on stone so the feet don't rot. And, uh, that should be it. So it took me a day about, but I saved $200 in labor. So you could say I made 200 bucks today. And I got, you know, I got a good workout. I got some knowledge under my belt and that's it. All right, this video is very long. So I'm wrapping it up. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds of this. Here comes the moon. I enjoy these other videos. I hope you're watching them. I put these up here for you to watch, not just to just waste some space. All right, please watch it, like it, all that jibber jabber. Dennis Allen out.